Yo, before we actually get inside the video, I do want to say that I am giving away a true Hidoku fragment. All that you have to do is like and subscribe to the channel, and then you have a chance of entering. I'll be giving it away to one person, so I recommend to like and subscribe, and you guys have a chance to win a true Hidoku, a true visor, true Let's, or true Vasto. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Baba. In this video, I will be giving you guys the complete Hakuda guide, just like my Kendo one that I dropped the other day. Um, this one will be for Hakuda. Everything that you need to know about Hakuda, how to use Hakuda, what skill bosses you need, what um, attack skill points you need, what moves to use, basically everything that you need to know, what combos to do. So yeah, if you guys end up enjoying it, like and subscribe. My current goal is 20,000 subscribers. And we can do that, I'll greatly appreciate it. And anyone who has subscribed recently, appreciate you guys just as much. I think we're at like 17k now, which is just crazy. Um, but yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video as well, I will be doing a true Hidoku fragment inside of my Discord. You have to join the Discord and like and, you know, do all that. Um, but yeah, if you do all that, you have a chance to win a Hidoku fragment. It'll be uh, for like the next four or five days or something. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the hot that I died. Alright, first thing. You know, 50 into this. 15 into speed. You can go 15 into keto if you really want to. I personally don't really recommend it. I like speed a little bit more because I am light. Now, the first thing that I want to talk to before we even get into combos, anything else, is what build you are going to run with Hakuda. The best thing that you guys can run is going to be the new light resurrection. You guys can see right here. It is the only mythical inside the game. It is very much so brain dead. Um, I highly recommend it. The moves that I personally recommend is going to be the X and the C, but you can also... When do they change the effect for that? Um, okay. That looks crazy. Um, but then also the Z, um, you can move set with. So, you know, it's kind of like 50-50. You can use whatever you want. Um, the next thing that I want to say is for your Vastor card, what variant you guys should actually be using. I personally recommend Hero variant. I think Hero variant is the best one that you can run. Um, it gives a lot of damage reduction. You do more damage. It's just all in all, like the best one in my opinion. Um, clan, I recommend you guys run Stark. And now we can get inside the actual video. So, Seropath. That is an important discussion for this. Um, the Seropath that I recommend is Sero Grab. It works pretty well with this. Um, you guys can also do Cornea. That one works pretty well. Finger Sero works pretty well. Um, I would not really recommend Tri Sero or Blade Sero because they don't really work that well with Hakuda. You can use them if you want to. I don't personally recommend it though. Um, so yeah, Sero Grab is going to be your first move in my opinion. Then we have Catching Dragon. Death Player, Tora Reach, Spine Rend, Shiori, Grand Entrance, Pulse, Negation, Absolute Defense, um, Sero Osiris, and Blooming Cut. Now, I will be explaining every one of those moves and more moves that you could use if you really wanted to. So, the absolute must needed moves, these are ones that you have to use. You have to use these if you're Hakuda. If you don't use these moves, um, you're not going to be as good as you can be. First one, Tora Reach, 40 Hakuda. You absolutely need this move. It's just very, very good. You dice and see. Boom. You do a little dash and you take people up. That is how you start your air combos with Hawk. Very, very good. Next move that you absolutely must need to get is going to be Death Flare and Shiori. These are both skill box moves. You have to get these ones. Any other ones than these two will not work nearly as good. Both of these ones are brain dead. Shiori teleports you to your opponent and flings them up into the air. And Death Flare is just insane. It's, it's simply insane. Get Death Flare, get Shiori. Um, not much else to really say about that. So, Tor Reach, Death Flare, Shiori, um, Spy Rend, must needed. You need to do 50. Spy Rend is insane. Um, it's very, very good. Other moves that I personally recommend Pulse, it's a little um, Rayatu ball like this. Boom, pretty good. Uh, far range move, Texting. Um, absolute Defense is needed, but for some reason, mine doesn't really work. What you're supposed to do is hold it down, and it's supposed to work. You guys can, like, literally hear me tapping you guys and see it does not work for me so i will probably change it out i don't know why it doesn't work for me but it simply does not work grand entrance is interesting i like grand entrance but i might change grand entrance off as well pretty much this is what it does so like, like let's say you're inside an air combo and you want to bring someone down to the ground you just have to do that and it will actually drive them all the way to the ground and then you can try to crit after um and it would make it way way better um so yeah the must need the moves shayori death flare spine rend tora reach um, absolute defense is kind of must needed, but if you guys can't use it like I can't, then you change it up for something else. Pulse and Catching Dragon. Catching Dragon is must needed. Um, basically what it does is if someone is just blocking right in front of you, you can do this. It knocks them up inside the air. You slam them back down and then you can continue your combo. Very, very good move. Um, other moves that you guys can use. Rising Shot. Pretty good move. 
Um, whirlwind step, pretty good move. Um, angel splinter, pretty good move. Dynamit embrace, pretty good. Like a lot of these are pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm not gonna lie, you can really use all of these. For some reason, they're shutting down again. I don't really know why. I don't even think they've really said anything in update mod. Um, but yeah, pretty much those are the moves that you, you can literally use whatever you want. It's time to just testing it out for yourself. Um, and then I recommend Zero Grab. You guys can obviously do all this soul style, you know, boom, have all these. Um, next, the only one that I recommend from speed is going to be Blooming Cut. It's very good. Uh, it's very, very good with this. And then obviously, you guys can do the Essence as well. The Essence, you are going to have to run 40. I believe 40 is the requirement uh, for Hakuda. And the essence that you want is going to be Praise Blitz. You do not want the other one. Um, if you do get the other one, I would automatically trade for Praise Blitz. That's Praise Blitz is simply better. Um, it used to be insane. Now it's just a combo center, but it used to actually be a counter. If they revert it back to a counter, then it's back to being like one of the best ghosts of the game. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, now for the combos, I'll probably wait until the shutdown and just you know skip because you know they're being lame and shutting down a lot. I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I'll just wait until you know the shutdown happens. All right, well, for some reason, they did not shut down. So I guess we're just moving right on with it. One thing that I did forget to mention about moves is a must needed one, Nidation. Nidation is brain dead. You need Nidation. All right, now for combos. Pretty much all of your combos will start with Shaori or Tora Reach. One or the other, they will all start with that. Shaori, um, either one, whatever one you use, it is the same combo. So you either use Shaori or Tora Reach to start the combo, or you can use your crit as well. If you use the crit, then you can just simply extend more. The first thing that you guys are going to want to do is wait like a second. Just a slight second, or you can fate an M1. If you fate an M1, it works a little bit better. But yeah, just fate an M1, then do Nidation. Nidation, that is not what it does. Whenever you're inside the air, it actually does a combo center. Very, very good. Then you can fate another M1, or just wait a second and do Death Flare. And then uh, you guys can do Drained Entrance to bring them down if you want, or Catching Dragon, Sarah Grab, really whatever. You can end the combo, or you can continue it again with Tora Reach if you don't start the combo with Tora Reach. You can also use Spine Rend if they're not another um, Hakuda user, but if they are another Hakuda user, I recommend saving Spine Rend because you can actually use Spine Rend to stop their combo. Um, that is pretty much the number one thing that is used for Spine Rend is because when you use Spine Rend, it does give you um, iframes, I believe. Um, so yeah, you can just basically not take damage from the other person. So Spine Rend is pretty much must needed. But yeah, you start the combo with Tora Reach or Sayori. You go into Negation, which combo sends, then Death Flare. And then you can extend the den with Tora Reach if you don't use it at the start, or you can use Pulse, like I was saying, or you can use Drain Entrance to bring them down and then crit right after. Um, if you are light, then you can kick them up inside the air, which is very, very good. Um, there's just a lot of stuff that you can do. Another way to start a combo that I forgot to mention, if you're light, is going to be the X move. You can do this, and then boom, it's actually pretty good. Um, there's just a lot of things that you can do, but pretty much the versatile way that you, to use Hakuda is... When you start your combo, so you can either start with a crit, you can start with um, Tora Reach or Shaori. That is combo starters. Those are the ones that you guys are going to want to use to start the combo. Your crit, Shaori, or Tora Reach. Your combo extenders are going to be Pulse, Nidation, Grand Entrance. Well, Grand Entrance is more of an ender. You can use it as a combo starter as well, but I personally haven't figured out how to use it. But I know if you like aim at someone like this and then do it, apparently you can do it. I think you have to hold it or something. Um, but yeah, you can also start your combo with Rain Entrance. I know that for sure. Um, but yeah, once when you start your combo, you either go into Death Flare or Nordation, then you can go into Pulse, um, or you can, you know, use one of your moves over here. You can use Sarrow Grab, you can use Catching Dragon. Um, it really just kind of depends. But your main combo senders is going to be Nordation or Torah Reach, and, or not Torah Reach, or Death Flare. So you do Nordation or Death Flare. And then you just do the other one. So, for example, if you do Nidation first, then you do Death Flare after. If you do Death Flare first, then you do Nidation after. Um, and kind of just rinse and repeat. After that, you can do Tora Reach, which combo extends it again. And then you can use Pulse, which has a chance to combo extend it again if they like the Dark Broken or something. Um, so, yeah, Hakuda is just very, very good. That is pretty much how you use it, though. Um, I might put some clips inside the background, but I was kind of explaining how to use it. Uh, real quick, I'll show you then to so this guy right here. So, pretty much... Like I said, let me get this NPC off of him. I'm not going to lie. Get the NPC off him. Okay. Sayori. Boom. Into the Dacian. That combo breaks. Into that. They can parry Death Flare pretty easily, though. All right. And then he's going to do this. Right after that, we're going to crit. Okay. That misses. All right. You guys can see Pulse for far range. Then you crit. Hey, well, he has the stupid Essence move. I've actually, like, never even seen that Essence. We're going to do Sayori again. Boom. Into Death Flare. Into Nidation. 
into spine rend because he is not hot today and we're gonna knock him down with that and then we're gonna kick him up boom and then we're gonna blooming cut down and then well he has that so he kind of gets out of the combo but you guys can see what i was doing with that and then for example we can just run away back up okay well preferably don't do that but this into Tora reach like you guys can really mix and match it however you want boom and then he's dead Octa does broken i recommend you guys play it uh, <laughs> it's so brain dead how this works he literally had an essence and i think they just buffed light partial because it's doing some stuff that i've never seen i actually think that it blinds people now um i don't know because they haven't posted anything to update logs but it does look different so light might be even stronger um don't quote me on that but it looks stronger um but yeah there you guys can see it's brain dead go use it now before they nerf it um because more than likely they will nerf it i'm not gonna lie i won't lie to you guys they will nerf this um if they don't nerf it then well gg nerf it or use it for as long as you guys want um but yeah that's it for me if you guys ended up enjoying it i can subscribe you guys and see it's low key kind of brain dead just use shayori use Tora reach use your crit use anything um my goldfish is boxing a raccoon in my backyard all right that's gonna be the end of the video that's a good good way to end the video uh, apparently a goldfish is back boxing a raccoon uh, see you guys inside the next one. And don't forget the intro. Giving away a hot dragon to my Discord. So join that and like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, there's a wall there. Bye-bye.